hello you're welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here and what we have here this for reason we have a square minus b square which is same thing as a plus b into brackets open brackets a minus b also and right what we have as x plus y into brackets open brackets x minus y then equals to 65 here and here the value of x and y is a member of a positive integer that is a solution of positive integers it implies this first bracket which is x plus y it definitely be greater than the second bracket which is x minus y and for that to happen we break 65 down into its factors and we can write that as 1 times 65 or we write it as 65 times 1 or we have 5 times 13 or 13 times 5 then the first condition here the first number is less than the second so this will not satisfy so this will satisfy the force is bigger so yeah this also not satisfying and this also satisfied that is we have these two conditions so for the first case case one which is 65 times one it implies that we can write this equation now as x plus y multiplied by x minus y and i'll be written as 65 times one which implies the first bracket here will be equals to 65 that's x plus y equals to 65 and also x minus y equals to 1. when we solve this simultaneously we eliminate y by adding two equations and we have x plus x that's 2x then equals to 65 plus 1 that's 66 and we divide both sides by 2 here Divide this side by 2, also divide this side by 2. 2 cancel each other here. Yeah? We have x now equals to 66 over 2, that's 33. That is, we have the value of x here to be 33. Now, we solve for y using this second equation here. That is, x minus y equals to 1. Substitute so x here, we have 33 minus y equals to 1. That is, when we here we take minus y to the other side and y to this side. We have 33 minus 1 equals to y. This becomes 32 equals to y. At this here we have y equals to 32. And we can write the first solution x comma y to be equals to 33 comma 32. Then let's solve for the second case as well. From here, for the case two, also we consider for thirteen times five. That's for case two. That is this equation now. Can be written as x plus y into bracket also into bracket x minus y now equals to 13 times 5 which implies the first bracket here equals to 13 that is x plus y is equals to 13 and x minus y is equals to 5. also we solve these two equations simultaneously by adding and this becomes 2x then equals to 13 plus 5 that's 18 then divide both sides by 2 as well divide this side by 2 also divide this side by 2 2 comes each other here we have x equals to 18 over 2 that's 9 <coughs> excuse me then here also get the value of y from x minus y equals to 5 that is x now which is 9 minus y equals to 5 and take y to the other side of 5 here we have 9 minus 5 now equals to y 
this 4 equals to y, which is y equals to 4. In the second solution also x comma y now equals to 9 comma 4. Then when we write it out here, we have the two solutions we have here, which are member of positive integers. We can write it as the first and the second solutions. And the first solution, which is x1, y1, is given as 33, 32. And also the second solution, which is x2, y2, we got that as 9, 4. Then we can check if this solution satisfies this given problem here by substituting the fourth solution here, x is 33. So this equation becomes 33 squared minus y32, that's 32 squared, is it equals to 65 on this side? And 33 squared is 33 times 33. Which is 3 times 3, 9, also 3 times 3, 9, 3 times 3, 9, also 3 times 3, 9. And when we had this here, we have 9, this is 8, this becomes 10, that's 1089 minus also 32 square is 32 times 32. When we multiply 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 3, 6, 3 times 2, 6, 3 times 3, 9, and this becomes 4. Two, then that's one thousand and twenty-four. Then it equals to sixty-five on this side. And from here, subtract what we have one thousand and eighty-nine minus one thousand and twenty-four. Then we subtract nine minus four. That's five. Eight minus two six. So this. So, so this is 65 here and equals to 65 here. Left hand side now equals to the right hand side. It implies that the first solution here is satisfying this given problem. And also we substitute the second solution we have. X is 9. What we have becomes 9 squared minus y is 4, that's 4 squared. Is it equals to 65 on this side? And next square, we have 9 times 9, that's 81, minus 4 square, 8 times 4, that's 16. Is it equals to 65 on this side? 81 minus 16, that's of course 65, which is equals to 65 here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. That is the second set of solutions here also satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget to say, subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell and share this video with thumbs up and put your comments see you next time bye for now